The following is a production of Learfield Sports. Well, the week started with a great note. Greg Gard having the interim tag removed. He is now the Badgers head coach. Has a nice long contract to be the head man of the program. But later in the week, it got a little tougher as the Badgers had all kinds of trouble shooting the ball en route to a 70-58 to setback to the Nebraska Cornhuskers in the Big Ten tournament. The good news is the season does not end there as Coach Gard and his team get ready for postseason play. We'll sit down with the Badgers head coach. We'll also talk about the art of shooting. No, it was not good on Thursday, but the body of work would make a strong suggestion that has been an area of very significant improvement for the Badgers this season. We'll hear from assistant coach Gary Close. All of that coming up on today's edition of the Badgers Sports Report. Painting near the right corner. 205 gone by, 2 0 Nebraska. Koenig throwing to Brown right side. He'll try a three. Good. Vito Brown. He said over the last nine games, shooting 47% from distance. Beats McVay. Goes in tomorrow, and that's stolen by half of the right block. Here's Ethan on the dribble left side to the front court with Hayes trailing. Now a throw to Brown. Low on the right. Slam dunk. Vito Brown from half. Outside left is Koenig. Koenig off the screen from half. And Bronson throws to Brown for three straight away. Good again. Vito Brown, his third long ball. The throw to Showalter, turns to Happ on the left wing. Ethan off the wing, in the lane, to the rim, layup, good, and a foul. Ethan Happ with a strong drive to the basket. Right side pass on the wing for Parker, off the wing, knocked away by Happ, into the hands of Vito Brown. Turnover to Nebraska. Koenig, a long feed for Hayes on the right side, shot fake, show and go. Nigel low on the right, up and in, and the Badgers take the lead. Nigel on the dribble, baseline right. Works to the block. Hayes in the lane, up left hand. Got it, it counts at a foul. Vito kills the dribble, throws to Showalter, feeds Iverson, a bounce for half, low on the left, takes it right on the reverse, good, and a foul. McVay is on Koenig, small versus a big. Bronson, left wing, step back, jumper money. Koenig, the bucket, throwing to Koenig, left side for half. Leading Showalter out to Koenig for three. Left of the circle, it's good. Timeout, Wisconsin. This is Wisconsin basketball. Ten seconds left in the half. They spread the floor. Koenig against Tate. Six seconds. Koenig drives the lane. Up and in. Nigel Hayes from distance with the right side. They will return to the Final Four. They are standing here at the Kohl Center for Badgers head coach Greg Garland. Showalter down the lane. Way up good. The Badger Sports Report with Greg Gard is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Quick Trip. By Zimbrick Buick GMC. By hy V. And by UW Health a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Game night. That magical weekly gathering where lands are conquered and you get trapped in the dungeon that is your bedroom. But you've got blazing fast spectrum internet, so Kevin and his friends have enough bandwidth to play together and you have enough left over to find a new apartment. Get 60 megabits of dragon slaying speed with Spectrum Internet. Where will it take you? Zimbrick GMC is known for outstanding customer service. At GMC's full line of hardworking trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, you've got a winning combination. Whether you need the powerful and efficient Sierra, the technology and comfort of the Acadia, or the modern style and space of the terrain, you can't go wrong with Zimbrick and GMC. During our New Year's celebration, lease the 2016 GMC Acadia for only $269 per month. Find your next vehicle today at Zimbrick GMC. Fresh Daily. It's as much about what we do at your neighborhood Quick Trip Fresh Market as what you want to do for your family. So now you can pick up everything on your list, from the fresh milk, bread, and produce you've always known us for, to even more healthy veggies, premium meats, flavorful sides, and you bet, desserts. Stop in for bananas, baking potatoes, or jumbo onions for just 38 cents a pound every day at your neighborhood Quick Trip Fresh Market. 
see you next time. Whether you're out there training for a big event or you're just trying to stay in shape, I have a bit of advice. It's important to remember that what happens after the workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice, be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk. And you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. Tonight, we came out a little flat. Uh, we gave them confidence, and they thought that they could, you know, win the game. And all that, you know, just grew and grew and grew until the point where it was out of reach for us. He's their senior leader, and um, he has that sense of urgency that all seniors have when it's coming to March. And, uh, you know, that the, the door in their career is closing soon. So he came out playing inspired. His team fed off of that, and they played. They just, you know, played harder than us. And you can usually win games um, regardless of what happens if you play harder than other guys. I think that's the most frustrating thing right now because that's what has won us games this whole year. And to have someone else out, out hustle us and out play us like that, uh, it's frustrating. So we gotta get, we gotta regroup and get ready for these next games. We we're just shooting ourselves in the foot. Um, I think all of us, um, definitely myself included. Um, yeah, we get right there um, until you can close that gap completely and kind of take over. Uh, you're not going to win games, so obviously we learned that way tonight, learned the hard way. Because they play harder than us, they beat us to loose balls, rebounds, everything, and that's kind of what this program has been built on. And, uh, I mean, it's just embarrassing. A few times when we got we got in the post and they doubled and we kicked it out, we either fumbled it or, I don't know, we just couldn't really get the flow. And I think Nebraska played, just played harder than us, period. And uh, never really allowed us to get in a flow, and that's you know partially them, but also you know we didn't get to take care of the ball and get stops. They just played harder than us, and we didn't do a good enough job of squeezing those driving lines. Um, we allowed them to get way too many easy drives to the basket, and and when they did drive, we didn't step over soon enough and take any charges. Uh, I think we took one, and so. Uh, doing that allowed them to get more confidence to keep, to continue to attack us, and then obviously they start finishing the uh, the M ones down the stretch, and by that point it was too late. But I think the main thing is going back and reevaluating, looking at the film, uh, really analyzing what what we didn't do right uh, in both of these games, and I think uh, they both really came down to uh, the fact that we allowed them to attack us, and uh, we didn't reciprocate that on the other end. So I think. Um, the main thing is defense because uh, every time uh, we did try to claw back, like you said, um, we just let them uh, expand the lead again and we were never able to uh, you know, close that gap. It would be exciting just like every other year just to see where we're going to go and who we're going to play and uh, hopefully we can take some uh, positive, <laughs> positive takeaways from this game and hopefully never let it happen again. I mean, we didn't want to watch ourselves last year when we were one seed. So this year, we're uh, especially coming after a loss. We're going to make sure that we uh, we we've, we've taken care of ourselves. We make sure that we've corrected our our wrongs out there. Make sure that we're ready to go when this uh, when it's game time. It doesn't take the sting out, but uh, it's something to look forward to and know that we uh, we're able to kind of correct these mistakes and have another crack at it. Car paint think it's developing nations on the grid. Working together, our discoveries are greater. Boundless together. Subatomic particles that hold the universe's biggest secrets. Working together, our discoveries are greater. Boundless together. He's in half out there for Wisconsin. Here's Ethan Half spinning along the left, up left hand. There you go. Good off the glass. Half with four. From the Kohl Center, you may hear or even see, as a matter of fact, the morning skate going on around here. A lot of things always uh, going on here at the Kohl Center. Hockey, basketball. We focus, of course, on basketball. And uh, first, uh, let me be probably the 5,000th person to congratulate you, uh, the now head coach with the nice long-term contract. Roller coaster week and a roller coaster year. I know people... I think you know your your story here over the years, and especially the past year. But what has this been like, if you could possibly describe it, especially this last week, knowing that 
this job is is now yours well, for many years. That that I don't know if it's quite sunk in yet because you're so so locked into the moment. It's been surreal. I mean, the support we've had here, uh, the people that have rallied around this uh, to to help make this formidable and impossible. Not just in this past three months, but how this program has built and grown with our players and our coaches that have been here, support staff, everything. It's really been a team effort. Uh, just like I said on, on during my press conference, extremely proud to be the head coach at the University of Wisconsin. I think you told the players too, you continue to be on them and uh, yes. here, here we go after a, a tough outing and, and you, you mentioned it before the tournament started and it's, it's a theme that you hear a lot with reason. Teams that have a game under their belt oftentimes can play very well that second game, which in this case was your first and we are kind of seeing that play out here, maybe not just in this conference, but in a lot of conferences. Yeah, it has held true. Uh, I've always thought that if you're on the court uh, and in the in your routine a little bit ahead of time and or ahead of the team that you're going to be playing and have can come in and play in a game and have a lot of positive things happen, which Nebraska had with Rutgers, and not have to strain too much down the stretch, that that would give you an advantage uh, when all else is equal. There is there is an advantage there in terms of trying to get. A uh, little momentum going, and that was obviously the case uh, for Nebraska. Obviously, played very well, and having Siobhan Shields back, I thought was going to make a big difference. You know, a senior, it's been around, best player on both ends of the floor. Um, that have, uh, you know, they were allowed to have some momentum develop, which happened the day before. Uh, that they would be a handful. Can it get to a point sometimes, Greg, in a game where if a team is scuffling at one end, it will eventually affect it at the other? And I bring that up because the shots obviously were not falling. And nor were they really for Nebraska in the right. first half. It's just a five-point game, but then it changed. Can, can that factor in mentally with, with guys if, man, it can't buy one here, it's going to be harder to get stops as well? I, I think it does, and then you're always looking for one break. You know, we even going down the stretch of that game, the last five, eight minutes, it's only a two, four-point game at one point. One point we had the lead early in the second half, but we were never able to string together enough possessions of, on either end. You know, we'd get close enough, close within two, and then we'd have something break down and happen, or we'd foul in an opportune area and give them free points, so to speak, as I call them. We were never able to quite put one more together to get over the hump or get a lead that where then you could absorb maybe a mistake or here or there and play with a little bit of a cushion. And that was something they were able to do that. They were able to absorb enough and just have just enough of a lead that uh, when we were able to make a run, they were able to, to hold us off. Great teaching point. I'm sure you have a, a, a roster full of smart guys, but now they, they've they lived it. You win, you keep going, you lose, you're done. Okay, done with the conference tournament. And now now they know that. We've, we've said in the past that NCAA games, like five minutes can determine the outcome. It's really not even that much, is it? Right. Yeah, there is. There's The parity will be so close here as we go forward that uh, – you really have to play at an optimum level or as close to it or be as, as close to mistake free as you can be uh, for as long a period. And obviously if you can put the ball in the basket that helps. <laughs> uh, but for these guys to be able to finish up you know, 12 and 6 in the league and tie for third place and now be going to the 18th consecutive, uh, the program's 18th consecutive NCAA tournament is really a tribute to them because of how not only do they have to overcome some transitional things that we've talked about but also with having only one senior that doesn't play to be able to grow through this period. And there's been a lot of learning experiences that we'll carry forward, obviously for the next upcoming games, but also that'll springboard us into next year. When you get into the NCAA tournament, things are a little bit different, how the practices are formatted on the floor, the media obligations and all that. But is it important from your perspective to keep as much as of a routine, as much a routine as you've had throughout the season, keep that as much as possible now. Yeah, we will. We'll we'll make sure we stay in the same same practice time and do. We won't change much. We'll we'll shorten things. We'll back off of that and really try to make sure we're fresh and ready to go. And obviously, depending on when we have to play, uh, whether it's Thursday or Friday, will dictate when we have to leave. So that'll. That'll uh, you know, help build our schedule as we go through the week. And again, I'll just be making sure we stay true to what got us to this point and uh, enjoy it. All right, and uh, just in advance, congratulations on then c continuing that stretch uh, since 1999, straight through to now, the Badgers uh, in the NCAA tournament. They'll find out their opponents and their destination, of course, later on Sunday afternoon, early evening. Coach Gardner returns in a few minutes with a great day and great question of the week. Stay with us.
March 15, 2015, the Big Ten Championship game versus Michigan State at the United Center. Badgers looking to become the first team since 2008 to win both the regular season and tournament championships. But the Spartans always find an extra gear in March. They lead by 11 before the resilient Badgers dig deep. Frank drives on Dawson, right of the lane, goes to the paint, slam, dunk, and one! Meaning on the drive, in the lane, spins it out to Kaminsky on the left wing. Frank leads it for Koenig, three ball, left pocket, Badgers take the lead! 45 seconds left in regulation, Badgers down two when they call upon Captain America to make a heroic save. Koenig, left hand dribble, and a step back three, straight on, he is off the back rim, no good. Rebound fought for, Gosser, left corner, trying to save, throws it up for grabs, it's gathered by Valentine, he throws it away to Decker, with 20 seconds to play. Koenig on the left side, Koenig off the left wing, Koenig to the lane, up no, but a foul. Bronson Koenig drains two free throws for the tie, and we're on to overtime, where it's all Badgers. Koenig moving left off a of Kaminsky screen, seven to shoot. Koenig, left corner, three ball, bucket. The Wisconsin Badgers are Big Ten Tournament champions in a Big Ten Classic that goes to overtime. The Badgers collect another trophy. There's a lot to see at Nissan Now. Award-winning safety, reimagined design, and premium interiors. Five exciting new models. This is Nissan Now. Choose the 2016 Nissan Altima, just $189 per month, or get a $139 per month lease on the 2015 Sentra. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Wisconsin Badgers. Go Badgers! Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure normal life for those who donate. I would know. I donated a kidney, and together, we saved a life. UW Health. Remarkable. Wisconsin cheese, making good food great. Game night, that magical weekly gathering where lands are conquered and you get trapped in the dungeon that is your bedroom. But you've got blazing fast spectrum internet, so Kevin and his friends have enough bandwidth to play together and you have enough left over to find a new apartment. Get 60 megabits of dragon slaying speed with Spectrum Internet. Where will it take you? When I was a young and assistant coach, uh, you, you want to try to find a niche where you can help people. And I, I'd always been interested in shooting. And I ran into another uh, guy when I was out at Stanford that was really into shooting. And we kind of, you know, exchanged ideas and, and really got it going. And from that time on, along with player development, it's kind of been my thing, and, and uh, there's nothing better than watching kids get better and improve, and when their shots go down, a smile comes on their face, and you feel like you've contributed something. Who are some players that you've worked with here at Wisconsin who you've really enjoyed watching develop from the time they came in as a freshman to when they left as a senior? Well, a lot of them. I don't, I don't know if you can point one out. I, I know, you know, just recently the fans will know that when Nigel first came in, we. I, I've never seen a guy pick up things as quick as he did. Um, and usually you try to maybe do one or two things at the most. And he was so quick picking things up that we could just keep moving on. And his shot has really improved. And, and um, it, it's great seeing guys get better. And especially in shooting, because they, you know, everybody wants to be able to shoot the ball well. And, and some guys come in with, with uh, shots that need work. And so if you can do something that can help them out a little bit, it feels good. How do you balance between tinkering too much and fixing what needs to be fixed. Yeah. I'll suggest things. I won't I won't insist yeah. that they do certain things. It's kind of like, hey, you want to try this? Yeah, I think this might be good for you. And then and then it's up to them. Um, because a lot of times they've they've got to want to change 
to really make it worthwhile because sometimes in the change you'll actually get a little worse and then hopefully you bottom out and you get better. I, I really, you know, I'm there to help them, uh, but it's really their call in terms of, of what they want to do because uh, they, they've got to be ready and be receptive and if they are then great and if not, if they, if they like the way they shoot the ball then that's, that's okay with me too. I'll just you know, offer some suggestions and if they take them, great. Coach Close is one of the you know, closest people I have on the team. He's the one who recruited me, so I'm forever thankful that he brought me here. And then um, he's a great guy. Um, but other than that, we've worked a lot on uh, just form um, from starting in close and then moving out farther. And uh, it's still a work in progress, but we're getting closer. From last year to this year, it's been getting to where it's really consistent. If, uh, if I know I'm going to shoot the ball, but sometimes when I'm not prepared to shoot the ball, then it's then it's a little bit different. So like in, in, uh, in drills, when I know I'm, I'm gonna shoot the ball, it's really consistent, but I just need to translate that to the game as well. I think it's important with Coach Close, how he, he's, he's got a great sense of humor and he really uh, jokes around with us. And um, I think that's big uh, just cause when it's so, te it's such tedious work doing the same thing over and over again, and then he can lighten up, lighten up the mood. Uh, it's really nice. Well, he's, you know, he had an unusual delivery. I don't think there's any question about that. Um, and he got away with it, and he's been very receptive, and uh, he's come a long way. He's shooting the ball pretty well. He's got to get a little bit more consistent, uh, and then, then I think it's a confidence factor. I think like a lot of things, he's got to see some go down, and I think when they do, he'll have a chance to jump up. I keep telling him, Nigel A's never shot a three his whole entire freshman year. He kind of, I think he kind of waited until he knew that he could make it, and then once he did, he just took off, and hopefully the same thing will happen with Ethan. This is a game of a lot of skill, not just shooting, but ball handling and, and every passing and everything else. And so if you're not in, if you, I very rarely have found people that, can, that are highly skilled that haven't spent an awful lot of time on their own. And that's where their own innate love of the game is, is, you know, is, is maybe the most important thing in being a great player. They, they gotta want to be in the gym. They gotta enjoy being in the gym. They gotta enjoy seeing them getting better. And if you gotta constantly push and prod to get them in there, then when you're not around to do it, they're not going to do it. So we, we like to have self-motivated players, and, and uh, knock on wood, we, we have. Zimbrick GMC is known for outstanding customer service. At GMC's full line of hardworking trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, you've got a winning combination. Whether you need the powerful and efficient Sierra, the technology and comfort of the Acadia, or the modern style and space of the terrain, you can't go wrong with Zimbrick and GMC. During our New Year's celebration, lease the 2016 GMC Acadia for only $269 per month. Find your next vehicle today at Zimbrick GMC. Fresh Daily. It's as much about what we do at your neighborhood Quick Trip Fresh Market as what you want to do for your family. So now you can pick up everything on your list, from the fresh milk, bread, and produce you've always known us for, to even more healthy veggies, premium meats, flavorful sides, and you bet, desserts. Stop in for bananas, baking potatoes, or jumbo onions for just 38 cents a pound. Every day at your neighborhood Quick Trip Fresh Market. See you next time. This is Andrew Zielsdorf. He plays hockey. This is leukemia. It's bad business. This is Andrew's oncology team. They love Andrew. They don't like leukemia. And thanks to them, Andrew is now cancer free. Booyah. They are the world renowned physicians, scientists, and nurses at the American Family Children's Hospital. Pioneers in pediatric cancer care. UW Health, remarkable. There's really only one steak place that has the best steak. The most tender, most flavorful, mouth-watering steak. A place that makes the choice to serve you the best choice. Because we believe there really is no other choice. hy V Choice Reserve. Premium, hand-selected, 100% natural beef. hy V Choice Reserve. Because our choice is your best choice. The Badger Sports Report with Greg Gard is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Quick Trip. By Zimbrick Buick GMC. 
by hy V and by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Time for this week's great day and great question of the week and Bill from Green Bay wants to know coach. Do you learn something every game you coach? I have this year. That's for, <laughs> that's for sure. It's been a learning experience for me too as well as the players. Uh, but the biggest thing is I've tried to be as consistent as possible and not not really move too much in terms of one end of the spectrum to the other and, and try to give a, a sense of calm to the players. And obviously I'm I am learning. I am learning a lot every time I go back through a game film, every practice. Uh, you know, as, as time goes on, I know I expect my players to get better, and and I'll make sure I try to get better too. But uh, you know, I've just tried to make sure I be a, set, a voice of reason and, and sense of calm for the most part, because most of our your work is done in practice. You know, there's nothing too magical you're going to do in a game. It's basically you're going to play how you practice, and you're going to perform towards their, those expectations, and that will that's what we'll try to keep doing. All right, Bill, we thank you for your question. The Great Dane with the location up in Wausau, as well as four in the Madison area downtown, as well as the east side, Fitchburg and Hilldale. We thank all the people at the Great Dane Hilldale who hosted Coach Guard's radio show this season. Uh, we concluded it this past week, but uh, look forward to doing it once again next season for the 2016-2017 season. But hey, first things first, there's still season ahead here as the Badgers get ready for the NCAA tournament. And we'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. Precisely why patients like Margie turn to us for their complex surgeries. You see, at UW Health, we're performing the biggest of procedures through the tiniest of incisions. It's called minimally invasive surgery. It means faster healing, less scarring, and getting back to your life that much sooner. Which is why small never seemed so big. UW Health. Remarkable. There's a lot to see at Nissan Now. Award-winning safety, reimagined design, and premium interiors. Five exciting new models. This is Nissan Now. Choose the 2016 Nissan Altima, just $189 per month, or get a $139 per month lease on the 2015 Sentra. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Wisconsin Badgers. Go Badgers!